Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitting Performance Lab, and in this video, we're going to go over a simple way to test hips lead the way that works for Ted Williams. The subtitle, as you can see here, is it's a ZEP swing experiment attempting to put value on the role of the pelvis in the swing. Now, the question that I ask in this experiment is, how much does the pelvis actually add to bat speed at impact? So we use the Zep Labs baseball app, and I wanted to employ the scientific method to analyze how much turning the pelvis, and some refer to this as the hips, adds to bat speed at impact. In a minute, I'm gonna show you the two swings that I took. One was called front facing, and the other was a regular swing. And the front facing swings, they attempted to isolate out the role of the pelvis in the swing. So we can analyze how much the pelvis adds to swing performance. Also, there are some things in the video that you that I'm not gonna go over too much. One is background research. You can go to the link directly below this video if you're watching this on YouTube, and you can click and kind of read into the background research for those that wanna get into the weeds. The hypothesis, and this is kind of based on the Ted Williams is the science of hitting, where he talks about the hips lead the way. I feel most coaches primarily teach a hips only strategy, which I actually disagree with. I feel firing the hips is an overtaught and overvalued, while the role of the shoulders is undertaught and undervalued. The objective of this experiment is to see what benefit the pelvis or hips, as some refer to it as, add to swing performance. And I predict that the regular swings will have a substantial increase in bat speed at impact than the front facing swings, but I wanted to see by how much. Another thing you can go to the link directly below this video if you're watching on YouTube is to look at how we set up the experiment, and I'm not gonna go through that on this video. All right, let's take a look at the swings and see the difference between front facing swings and the regular swings. So here's my attempt at isolating the pelvis and didn't really happen the way I wanted it to, but you have the swing on the left is front facing and the swing on the right are the regular swings. It's interesting to note that we filmed this video at the end of the experiment after the 200 swings on day two. I was pretty tired, had felt that right inside knee tightness that I will make a mention of next here shortly. Maybe early on, I, I was a little bit more front facing than I was later in the experiment. This is what the swing looked like. The differences between the swings, you're gonna see the back foot over here on front facing will end up, and the pelvis will end up almost in the same position as as you can see these frames here as the regular swings you'll see from there they look almost identical so the isolating the pelvis in this experiment really didn't happen like i like i wanted it to in the notes that we talk about shortly you'll see what conclusion i came to based on this okay so how did the the experiment turn out so the first graphic you see here is the ZEP screenshot, actually two screenshots back to back that I put together. These are the front facing swings on days one and two that are side by side here. And so they took the average of that, the averages, and you can see those down here. So the averages for the following metrics, 77 mile per hour average bat speed at impact, this is all front facing, 30 mile an hour hand speed max, 0.177 seconds time to impact, a negative 24 and a half bat vertical angle at impact, and a three degree positive attack angle. And if we look at the regular swings, day one and two side by side, again, taking the averages of these screenshots here, you can see here at the bottom, regular swing averages for the following metrics. 81 and a half miles per hour bat speed at impact, 33 miles per hour hand speed max, 0 0.130 seconds time to impact, negative 28 and a half bat vertical angle at impact, and a zero degree attack angle. Doing the math for you, data analysis and conclusion, the ZEP data analysis of averages of averages, we concluded that there was four and a half mile per hour increase to bat speed at impact on regular swings, three mile per hour increase in hand speed max in regular swings, 0 0.047 decrease in time to impact for regular swings and a negative four degree decrease to bat vertical angle at impact in regular swings and a negative three degree decrease to attack angle in regular swings. Now some notes to consider for this experiment, the increase in bat speed and impact and hand speed max, they both confirm my hypothesis and most of you out there probably. And it didn't surprise me since the first piece of the spinal engine according to Dr. Serge Grakovetsky, to interact with gravitational forces is the pelvis. It's also interesting to note that you could see by the side-by-side -side video of the swing that I wasn't able to keep the belt buckle or front facing as much as I would have liked on the front facing swing. So possibly the pelvis could have added a bit more. I was feeling inside right knee tightness when forcing my pelvis to stay 
facing forward. So that could have been why everything shifted more sideways. The decrease in time to impact with regular swings could have been due to the increased step and or unfamiliarity with the movement while doing front facing swings. In past swing experiments, testing down shoulders and showing numbers, I increased my attack angle in the positive. I think the three degree increase in positive attack angle for front facing swings was due to better execution of those elements. We were also, last point before we end this video, we were testing ball exit speed in the beginning but had equipment malfunction i.e. batteries went dead. I, I was too many swings in when this, the equipment was fixed, so we threw out BES altogether. So I'd love to do this experiment again at some point and measure BES in the future. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure we're swinging smarter by moving better. And before I let you go. The Hitting Performance Lab wants to know, did you know repeatable hitting power does not start in the hips? Have you heard the expressions, load and explode the hips, power comes from the hips? Well, we created a free video revealing the results of a scientific study that will show you how we added 48 feet of batted ball distance instantly, and it's not all about the hips. Click here now to get the video while it's still free.